Yo, what is up guys? She guys Shinobi here back again with another video for you guys. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we got more Bleach Rebirth of Souls with Ikiora Schieffer being, of course, the trailer, you know, being leaked. You know, somebody finally got it, you know, but he's been revealed. I guess they put it on private from what I've heard and then they went ahead and then, uh, unprivated on accident and whatever, whatever. But we're going to be going over this, giving our thoughts and opinions. Now, we did see the trailer beforehand with, of course, Vastalori Ichigo and um, Mask, Hollow Mask Ichigo, which might be two different characters, because we know we got the regular one right now, who has half mass as a power-up. But, um, yeah, it should be interesting, especially considering that um, the Ichigo and Uku already saw in the trailer, this might be two characters that might have two transformations, like the first two transformations, because you'll have Hollow Ichigo going to Vastalori, and then you have Ukiora going into his resurrection, and then into his final resurrection that Aizen is. It's actually technically only be Ukior with the two forms. Unless you start with Ichigo and base Bankai and then you get the mask and then that's the Lorde. But either way, you already know the drill. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. Got a lot of content coming up. I gotta go to work pretty soon, but when I get back, I'm probably gonna end up reacting to the um, Tokyo Game Show Dragon Ball Sparking video that they dropped in Japanese. So I'm gonna be taking a look at some gameplay they got going on there. But other than that, let's go ahead and see what they got in store for us. Alright, boys, let's get it. Ukiora, first the wrong card. Now, me personally, I think we're getting Harbell and Stark next. Particularly Harbell, because it's obviously Senra and Kagura, who, you know, the people who made that, so you already know they're going to try and get that out there. To end here. He looks so drippy, too. He looks so drippy. Oh, he's got like a. Ooh, ooh, hold on. First of all, we got a whole new background for our boys here. Hold on. That's Cero can clean. Instant regen. Oh, he's going to be able to heal himself? You know what? That would be his thing. That would be his thing. In prison. All right. First transformation. What's his second? Is he going to be able to use his second transfer? There's no way they don't put his second transformation here. Oh, there it is, reawakening. Oh, that is dirty. Oh, that is clean. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. We got a lot to go over in the shit. Nine times out of ten with these minute long trailers that we get, um usually there's not too much to go over, but we got a lot to go over with this character. So first things first, I like the whole white and black that they got going on here. This looks nice as hell. Nice as hell. And I hope they kind of do the same with all the other Espada. So, um, first one, also, this is going to easily, it's either going to be this right here that's going to be like the thumbnail, or it's going to be like the one at the end where he's got like the lance out. Where is it at? Where is it at? It's like his final resurrection right here. That's going to probably end up being it, like his reawakening. So, that's going to be pretty interesting. But, um, as you guys can see here. Sarah, the Sorotto Espada, who came out of nothingness, he overwhelms his enemy with his super fast free sheet recovery and the second stage of resurrection. Not too bad. So, signature move. Go over here. Obviously, Sarah, which makes sense. You know, a move that sacrifices his own ray sheet to release a powerful blast in front of him. In addition to increasing his combo damage, he can be used in a wider range of ways, such as covering gaps and attacks and destroying opponents' counterattacks. You know, makes sense, makes sense. Um, but, considering that it uses his own Reishi, actually, no, that makes sense. For some reason in my head, I thought that it was him using his own life gauge in order to power it up, which wouldn't make sense, though, but because it's his signature move. What am I thinking? Because in my head, when I was thinking of him saying he uses his own Reishi, I'm thinking, oh, is this one of those characters that uses their own HP to make, like, really powerful attacks? But, um, it looks like this will be used... For, you know, kind of trapping rushdown characters who like to try and get in front of you. So this would be like a counter character, something like Yorichi, Ichigo, you know, possibly Toshiro. This will be a big counter to Toshiro because Toshiro's whole entire thing, based on what we've seen so far, is um, making sure that he's hitting the opponent at all times. So this could be a pretty dangerous character for Toshiro. But Be gone. it looks clean though, I'll say that much. It looks hella clean. Alright, spiritual pressure move one, instant regen, a move that gradually restores ratio over time. The ability can be accelerated by holding Oh no, I was right. 
So this character, Ukiyor, he uses his own Reishi, his own health meter, to use the Sero, and then that's why he has the instant regen, is so that as he's using his own, you know, spiritual pressure, or, I mean, not spiritual pressure, his own health bar to be able to, you know, do his attack with Sero, he can instant regen that, so he's not always, like, going to be at low health. That's actually kind of interesting. Alright. That leads us into reverse fate. In prison. Which is his transformation, so you got awakening number one. Ukiyo's performance is enhanced by releasing Musarelo. I can't believe not, but I said that completely wrong. Resurrection. <laughs> the amount of spiritual power Ukiyo requires to, I'm assuming, use his moves is dramatically increased, making it easier to take advantage of his spiritual pressure move. Okay, interesting. Yo, this character is gonna be so hyped to play. A lot of his combos look they go into his Sero. And they got the reawakening, which looks absolutely sick. And this is gonna be a powerful signature spiritual version that hunts down opponents with the expense of the player's own ratio. So this character's whole entire thing uses his own life in order to fight. That is an interesting mechanic. That is an interesting mechanic. I will say that right now. This is like, like we're finally starting to get into those nitty gritty details with certain characters, and it's starting to change it up. Like the first couple of characters, you know, they had the thing that they were doing, but it was pretty simple. Versus now we got characters like Toshiro, like, you know, Kenpachi, Ukiora, who got their own unique mechanic or big mechanic that like separates them from the rest of the list. Like Toshiro, obviously, he's looking like a rushdown character, so he can get his gauge up and keep it that way. You got Kenpachi, who's basically a tank with armor moves. And then on top of that, you got Ukiyora here, who we just now reviewed, who's going to be using his own Reishi, his own health bar, to do his attacks. That's pretty damn cool. But I wonder what you guys think down in the comments. This game is looking pretty hype by the day, and we still got a lot more characters possibly to get into the list here. So, without further ado, Shikai Shinobi signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.